Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. If we haven't met before, my name is Rachel. Today we're doing a nice full body flexibility practice. You're gonna need just a little bit of space to move and let's get started. So let's begin today in just a nice comfy seat where you can sit nice and tall, nice long spine, placing your hands on your knees, maybe in your lap, and then let your eyes close. Take a nice big breath in and out. And do that again, nice big breath in and out. One more big deep inhale and let it go. Awesome, you guys. Just keeping your eyes closed for these next few moments and letting your chin fall down towards your collarbone. Bringing some length into the back of the neck, soften the shoulders, soften the jaw. Just breathing in any way that feels good for you. Maybe you're putting some effort into it. Maybe you're not. But just trying to listen to the sound of your breath as you let every other noise going on around you go. And with an inhale, start to roll your head over nice and slow towards your right shoulder. Maybe lengthening your spine a little bit more along the way. Keep going until you fall. Find, feel the length through the sides of your neck. Taking just one more breath in. And as you exhale, slowly bringing your chin back down towards your collarbone. Nice and slow. Feel the neck every step of the way. Using an inhale, roll your head over to the left shoulder. Lengthen the spine again if you need to. Relax the jaw if you need to. Awesome, you guys. Let's take one more inhale. As you exhale, slowly bringing the chin back down towards the collarbone. Maybe it can come a little bit closer this time. Feeling through the back of the neck, the top of the shoulders, maybe down the spine. Take a breath. And then using an inhale, slowly start to lift your head back up just to that neutral place. Awesome, you guys. If you want to add a shoulder roll, you can add a shoulder roll in. But we're going to make our way onto our hands and knees into tabletop. So open up your eyes. Come over onto your hands and onto your knees. Start to turn your fingertips out towards the sides of your mat. Spread your fingers nice and wide as well. And then just start to let your shoulders soften, your head get heavy, putting a little bit of extra weight into your palms. You could add a gentle rock side to side if you wanted, feeling some love through the wrists and the forearms. And if you want more here, you can actually start to turn your fingertips towards your knees. Put your fingers towards your knees. Spreading your fingers nice and wide putting a little bit of love into those palms, letting the shoulders soften again, the head be heavy. If you did want a gentle rock, if your fingers are pointing towards your knees, you could rock forwards and back, just ever so slightly.
Awesome work, you guys. Let's slowly start to bring our hands back, fingers pointing to the top of the mat. And then you can actually take a seat on your heels for a moment, come off your wrists, take a couple wrist circles or give your forearms a little bit of a massage. We're gonna start to tuck our toes under though, finding a nice lovely toe squat. So you can tuck your toes under. I want your arms to be free. So you could stand on your knees, tucking those toes under, or you could sit back on your heels for a little bit more or a lot more. And then we're gonna get into our forearms and our wrists again. So reaching your arms out in front, turn your thumbs to face down so the top of your hands are facing one another. Cross the right hand over top of the left, interlace your fingers, bring your palms together, and then drop your hands down towards your belly button. Pull them up towards your chin. Soften your shoulders. Stay just like this, or if you need more for that right wrist and forearm, you can start to pull your hands away from your chin. Maybe your arms are straightening. I'm not that person. I feel so much love through my right arm, just like this, and it feels really, really good. And you can just forget about your feet, forget about your toes, soften your shoulders. Awesome, you guys. Let your hands fall back down towards your belly button. Release. Take a little forearm massage again, a little wrist circle. We're going to untuck our toes, resting on the top of the feet. So again, you can stay standing on your knees or you could sit back on your heels. Maybe if you want to get extra fancy, you can actually lean back and float your knees a little bit, but I want your arms free so that we can do the other side. So decide where you'd like to be with the low body, reach your arms back out, thumbs facing down, left over the right this time, interlace those fingers, hands towards the belly button, up to the chin, and then maybe pulling your hands away from your chin a little bit. Soften the shoulders again. If you are hovering your knees, you might feel some extra love through the ankles. You might be able to lift your knees just a touch higher. Awesome job, you guys. Let your hands go back down towards your belly button. Release. Let your knees come down. Let your hips lift off of your heels. You might even need to shake out your ankles, tap your toes a little bit, and then make your way back into your tabletop. So bringing your palms down to your mat. If you need a little hip rock side to side, take it. We're gonna reach our right arm out in front. Keep your left hand at your side for support. Half a puppy dog, our hips are gonna stay high and you're just gonna start to melt your chest down. Maybe rest your forehead or maybe rest your right cheek. So your right arm's fairly straight, your biceps pretty much beside your head. And you're feeling a whole lot of love through that. That right arm and shoulder. Nicely done, you guys. Take one more breath here. And then with an inhale, push into your left hand, bring your chest up. Slide your hands back in under your shoulders. Take a little shoulder roll if you'd like. And then reaching your left arm out, switching sides. Nice straight left arm if you can. Let your right hand come to your side for support to help you slowly lower. Rest your cheek or your forehead. Keep your hips high. And melt it down. Awesome work, you guys. One more breath here. And using an inhale as you lift on up, back into your tabletop. Take a little shoulder roll again if you'd like. Hip rock side to side if you'd like. And then we're going to slide our right leg forwards. We're going to set up pigeon. So slide that right leg forwards, laying down your shin. Keep your back leg out long behind you. You can bring your right heels close to your left hip as you would like. Take an inhale, lift up through the chest, stay here or add a tip forwards. Letting the upper body get heavy. 
softening through the shoulders. <sighs> Feeling the love through that right side, that leg, that, that hip, that glute. Awesome job, you guys. Just one more breath here. And if you're tipping forwards, use an inhale to lift. We're going to roll to the right side a little bit, or a lot actually, and find our way into half a straddle. So your left leg's going to stay out long. Your right leg will stay bent in front of you. Point your toes up towards the ceiling. Take an inhale as you lengthen. Exhale the tip forwards if you'd like. Reach your arms out wide so that you can square your shoulders. Tip forwards a little, tip forwards a lot, but feel that nice inner leg stretch. Nicely done, you guys. Take an inhale as you lift up. If you are folding forwards, bringing your left leg in Soles of the feet together, knees out nice and wide. With an inhale, lengthen, place your hands on your knees. Slide your feet further away if you feel like you can't sit tall. Hands to your knees though as you inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, start to turn your chest over towards the right side for a twist. Maybe your left hand can rest on your feet. Your right hand can push into the floor behind you. And use an inhale as you turn your chest back through center. Exhale over to the other side. Lengthen your spine. Beautiful, you guys. Use an inhale as you turn back through the center. Bring your hands to your knees. Help them come back together. Give yourself a little hug. You can start to cross your ankles. Come back over onto your hands and knees. And then we'll set up our pigeon with our left leg forwards. Right leg behind. Scooch those hips around. Adjust your front shin, maybe your heels nice and close to that right hip. Take an inhale as you lift the chest and exhale to fold forwards if you want to fold forwards. Just finding the breath. Softening the shoulders. And staying for just one more. Inhale and exhale. And slowly lifting up. If you're folding forwards, tipping over, rolling over to that left side so you can set up your half straddle or gracefully turning around so you're still facing forwards. Point your toes up towards the ceiling. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale to add a tip forwards if you'd like. Feel that inner leg. Letting an inhale bring you up if you were folding forwards, bringing your right leg in, butterfly soles of the feet together. Again, place your hands on your knees, take an inhale to lengthen, and this time tip forwards if you want to get into your hips a little bit more. Awesome work, you guys. Using an inhale, find your way back up. You can bring your knees together, give yourself a little hug, shake it out, and then just make your way back into a nice comfy seat. Awesome practice, you guys. That is it. That is all for today. Thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, namaste.